Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going? I am coming to you live from my car because as always, I am crazy busy and there again, somebody calls me as I go live. So I'm going to give it a minute, wait for you guys to tune in. Um, I'm going to have to keep this short and sweet because I have to catch a flight out of Chicago in this nice foggy weather that we're having. You guys, I hate the fly, number one. And number two, it's fog, fog. I don't like to fly in fog. I don't even know if our flight is still on schedule. But anyways, I'm flying out to um, company convention. Super excited to see my team. I am with a new company. I haven't been as vocal about it. Um, but I will tell you, our team is absolutely on fire. It's super exciting. And so, um, I recently just joined, went to one convention on October, really caught the vision. And now this is our second. And I think we have like, I don't know, 30 some team members coming and it's only been a couple of months. So it's super fire, fired up about that. Then I fly to Arizona. Um, hello, hello, 70s. Uh, I think the weather is like 74 there, 75. Super, super cool because I get to see um, all of my amazing friends. I get to see, I'm speaking at, um, I'm training at Kate McShay's um, event, who's a very, very dear friend of mine. So I'll be hanging with Kate and Ray Higdon and um, Bernie, who I absolutely love and adore. And of course, TJ, who I absolutely love and adore. They're my mentors. So you guys, super, super excited. That's what I have going on this this weekend. But I want to talk to you guys about really how to create um, persuasive, uh, copy for your post, or if you're doing Facebook ads, but I know a lot of my audience, you know, I have ads, but we're still utilizing, um, our pages to create posts around, uh, create, creating curiosity for our network marketing companies. But before I dive into that, um, I just want to say hello to some of you beautiful faces. Um, What's up, everyone? Hi, Monica. Hey, Kathleen, Joanne. How are you guys doing? Natalie, how are you? I'll be seeing you soon. Tina, Sarah, what's going on? Yes, I'm so glad you caught me live too, girl. I'll be seeing you real soon too. So anyways, um, if you're new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I am founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I specialize in helping network marketers and home-based business owners really just grow a brand so they can build their business um, faster online, attract more people to them for whatever it is that you're looking to grow, whether it be, you know, your customer base, your, your team, and, um, really just using online marketing strategies to help leverage your time. And it's a big passion of mine because, um, you know, I did network marketing the old way, as I'm sure we all have, um, where we've done home parties, we've done the three-way calls, and you guys, it just takes up so much time. And it's not saying that you don't care about the prospect, of course you do, but um, if you can leverage social media to build your business, I will tell you that is what my team and I are doing, and we are building 10 times faster than I've ever built before. So it's super, super cool, and these are some of the strategies that I teach. So if you are new to me, I want you to drop a comment below, say new. I'd love to send you one of my free gifts. I have so many free resources, so you name it. I have my three-way messenger scripts I just came out with yesterday. I have my brand assessment workbook um, teaching you how to amplify your influence and really how to create your own personality brand. Um, and so if you type in new, I'll make sure to get that out to you. And if you want to uh, grab one of my freebies, if you have yet to see my branding workbook, just type brand in the comment section um, or messenger for my messenger scripts. Okay. So real quick, I want to talk to you about how to write posts because I see a lot of people that basically write like, hey, here, here's my shake. My shake is so good. It's delicious. And now today my children's drinking their shake and it's so nutritious. And like, that's all awesome. Or like, hey, this oil is my favorite oil because it helped me overcome X, Y, Z, whatever. All right, that's like really cool and all, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not really gonna provoke people. They're gonna be like, oh, it's another one of those, okay? Like it's, you don't wanna have just like, oh, it's another one of those posts, right? Because you're not gonna get much engagement, right? So if you're writing a post that sounds like an ad, that's a no-no, okay? I'm gonna tell you that right now. And I have done it in the past. I have written ad posts. 
Now, I run Facebook ads. I run traffic to a Facebook ad for people to collect something like my branding workbook or my fan page checklist or my messenger scripts, what have you. Um, that's called running traffic, okay? And I know it might be over some of your heads, but that is even something where you're running an, a Facebook ad and I'm utilizing advertising. I will tell you right now, I write all of my own ads. I recently had my ads manager, and I'm, I'm gonna be really vulnerable here and open up here, but I will tell you, I recently had my ads manager, and I love her, write one of my ads, and I had to almost, I read it and I went with it, but then I scrapped it, and I'm t I, I rewrote my ad, because it didn't sound in my true authentic voice, okay? So I have been um, sprinkling my personal page with some curiosity posts about my new opportunity and my new product, okay? And I'm using, I, I use sprinkling because I'm not slamming, okay? So when you read your post, you definitely wanna reread your post before you guys send it out. And if it sounds like something you wouldn't click on, you do not wanna post it. So that's like my number one tip for all of you, is to always read what you're posting and if you're like, oh, this sounds like everybody else, change it. You need to change it immediately. So here's some things that you wanna keep in mind. This is what, this is where it brings in engagement. Do you guys like this topic, by the way? If you do, I want you to share it, and I'm gonna give you a shout out for sharing as well, but show me some love, give me some hearts, because this right here, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is absolutely key. This is how I'm growing my team so incredibly fast. Um, last month alone, I think I had nine new um, business uh, reps join my team, and like we're just—it's just crazy how we're killing it. Because it's not just me; it's my entire team that we're that is utilizing the strategy. Okay, um, so yeah, Kathleen, it's such an important topic because. I always talk about the whole reason why I started my fan page in the first place and doing these trainings is because I saw so many people spamming the feed, spamming the feed to the point of where even in my last company, I was like, I couldn't even look at the posts anymore. I couldn't, I was like, oh my gosh, like not again. Like it was almost daily that the entire team and then what was happening is they were tagging each of us to the post. So every single day, a new post was coming on my personal profile from a team member and it was the same thing. It was the same thing, how delicious our product was, how um, they felt more energy with this certain you know, juice or what they were doing. It was, you guys, like that to me was not really being authentic. I'm gonna be totally honest, okay? So here we go. How to write persuasive posts that engage your audience to take action. Number one, is you want to agitate the pain. So when I sit down, I open up a Word document. I'm going to be honest. I either, I actually open up, when I write a Facebook ad, I open up a Word document and I literally just start writing out my thoughts. And I usually start by having a one-liner that really attracts um, attention. And so I, I'm trying to remember like what I had on my Facebook ad recently and my ads manager opened it up and she's like, oh my God, that very first line just grabbed my attention. I think it was like uh, the day my son said this to me was like a dagger in my heart, dot, dot, dot. And then I white spaced it. So white space is where you write copy like a one line and then you white space and then another line or two and then white space. You guys, I hope you're taking notes because I'm going to tell you right now. This is super freaking key when you are writing an ad or when you are writing a post, okay? I understand, yes, you could use emojis, emojis like with the algorithm, like it favors it, but I'm talking like where you write a line, you have a headline. So I just posted something on my page yesterday where I said, I did like a fire emoji and I said, stop the scroll, or I said, hey ladies, and then white space, and then the next line I said, fire emoji, stop the scroll and then another fire emoji. Do you guys see what I'm saying? And then I skipped the space, so white space, and then I started typing out my post, okay? So I created a lot of curiosity, and I didn't even have like a specific call to action in that post. I had four enrollments just yesterday, okay, of people wanting the product. All right, so one thing you wanna do is agitate the pain, okay? So remember that when you guys are writing your ad, all right, cool? Again, give me some love. 
Give me some love. Are you guys agitating pain? I want to hear from you. Are you actually thinking about your post or are you just like doing a post to just do a post to get it out there? All right. I want, I want to hear from you because if you're just doing a post to do a post, then don't post. Like you have to be strategic in your posting because I'd rather get one amazing post out a day than slamming my Facebook feed with three or four posts a day just for no good reason. Okay. So I'm telling you, if you have like a really powerful post, um, once a day or once every other day, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to make a huge difference. So you start by agitating the pain. What is their pain? If it is weight loss, talk to them about that. And the way you could talk to them about that is by sharing and telling your story. So that's step two is storytell. And I mean like get vulnerable and be different. So in my ad, when I said that about my son, the day he said this to me, it was like a dagger in my heart. The whole story was my life before I learned how to build my network marketing business online. And I was talking about how I was tethered to my phone, how I wasn't present with my children. Like my children were in front of me, but I was absent. Like I was not even remotely emotionally there for them. I was hiding in my closets to do three-way calls and leadership calls. Like I actually had to bribe them to be quiet. I had to bribe my own children to be quiet. So I literally like pulled apart the pain and was very descriptive on sharing my story in this ad, okay? Um, and so we, you, you have to like, it has to be in your voice. And I don't use cookie cutter verbiage like this is, you know, cutting edge or cracking the code. You guys, I can't stand that shit. I swear to God, and I'm sorry for like swearing. But I don't want to use marketer terms. I just don't. And so I want to use my voice. Like I said, I have written probably about 70, 75 of my own Facebook ads. You guys, I've had several, several, several Facebook ads go out in the last 16, 17 months. And so understand, it, I got better with time, okay? And so I realized that the, the, the way that I was able to grow such a following so quickly is because I did get vulnerable and I wrote the ads in my voice. I didn't allow, I, I got a little lazy lately because I've been busy, so I allowed my ads manager to do it. But then when I saw it, it, it I mean, it was still good, but it wasn't my voice. So guess what? We're split testing, right? We're testing both. On my personal page, I write all my own stuff. On my fan page, I write all of my own stuff. Okay. And so keeping it short, concise about them, storytell. I like a little bit more of the longer copy. I like some copy to be short and some copy to be longer. If you're sharing a story, it needs to be longer with that white space. Okay. Are you guys understanding what the white space means? If you do drop me a two, if you're not understanding it, I will try and explain it a little bit better because I'm that right there is such a key tip because when people follow with their eyes, if you have like a paragraph space, paragraph space, paragraph, the, it, their eyes don't flow. Okay. It doesn't flow as well as when you get the, the paragraphs. Okay. So you guys are getting this. Okay, cool. All right. And yes, you could use emojis when you're posting. Okay, so agitate the pain, story tell, share your story. What was your life like? Get descriptive, okay? Um, explain their pain to them. They understand, but you're like agitating their pain even more. And then number three is how can they overcome this pain? What is it that you have that you can offer them to help them to overcome the pain? Okay, and share that. Share what your life was like before and how it's different now. And I know not every post is going to be like that, but the more you could get more descriptive, the better off your posting is going to be. And so I've had posts, um, I'm trying to think like what I said. So I said, hey, ladies, stop the scroll. Um, I'm doing a four-week check-in. So this was just a before and after picture of my hair in, in four weeks and my skin. Okay, so lit literally, but it caused a lot of curiosity because I know people... Oh, and I talked about the story how I had this chick butch up my hair, like literally screwed up my haircut, razored off a lot of my hair. And so I needed my... I was... 
I was crying and I need my hair to grow back. And so instead of popping pills or instead of getting extensions, which I'm going to tell you right now, I had an appointment to get extensions until someone told me it was going to ruin my hair. I didn't know what to do. And then I found this amazing collagen product. So you guys hear what I'm saying? Like I was descriptive in what I was like. I had people reaching out to me left and right. They're like, oh my God, I had extensions for my wedding and it ruined my hair. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. My hair got chopped off and I actually missed my long hair. How do I get longer, fuller hair? I'm, I'm just sharing with you guys like that. Can you share that in a Facebook live? Kim, like, what do you mean? Like my, my, um, my post I did yesterday on my personal page, if that's a yes, I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll put it in the comment section here, okay? So, um, so agitate the pain, step one. Step two, story tell, be vulnerable, be different, be unique, okay? And then step three is um, how can they overcome this problem? Okay, Kim, I'll do that. Yeah, absolutely. How can they overcome this problem? And then um, step four is invite to connect. So, hey, if you want to learn more, feel free to reach out and message me and we can have a conversation about it or I could share more information with you. Um, I don't rec now I'm going to go against the grain. Um, I don't, I didn't have a call to action on yesterday's post about my hair. I didn't because I, I didn't want it to be like a sales pitch. Okay. So I think in some instances it's cool to have like a call to action in others, I feel like just let it lie and the copy kind of directs them. Like they're like, yes, yes. Oh my God. Look at her hair. Look at her skin. It looks amazing. Yes. What the heck is it? And that's exactly what happened yesterday. You guys, it's just smart marketing. It's just smart marketing. And that's what I want to teach you smart marketing. I don't want you guys to sound like everybody else out there. Okay. So listen, did you guys find value in this? I want to hear from you now. Please drop me a comment. Let me know. Drop me a yes. Give me some hearts. Give me some emojis. You guys share this. Help me to help others to get the message out there so they can learn how to speak to their target audience, you guys, because that is the most important thing. You don't want to just slam a post on social media just to put a post on social media, okay? You want to post with an intention. I will say it again. You want to post with an intention. I cannot explain how important that is and how people will respect you so much more. If they keep seeing you post about your shake every day, they're going to get sick of you. If they keep seeing you post about your travel deals, they're going to be sick of seeing you. If, you know, you want to be able to stand out and not have them like constantly scroll, you know, thumb scroll past your post. You want that. You want to catch their attention in, in any way um, possible. Okay. How to make the call to action bot sound desperate. I have a rubber band holding my phone. Um, okay. Kim, I don't know what you mean. Action bot call to action bot. So you are using Kim. Are you using bots? Is that what you're talking about? And you could also message me. I use bots as well, but I use bots with my Facebook ads because, um, Oh, not, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Facebook bots. I'm like, I don't really have a Facebook bot for like on my personal page or my fan page, uh, necessarily. I, I do use many chat in some instances, but, um, how do not, I'm sorry. Let me go back now. Kim. Okay. So Kim asked how to make to call to action, not sound desperate. Exactly. Kim. Exactly. So you do it in a matter of fact way, just a matter of fact. Like, hey, cool, if you found that this was helpful, I'd love to connect. If you have questions, let me know, message me. Like, bam, just write that. Like, it's not saying like, hey, if you, you know, you could do the, hey, if you want, if you want more info, um, just drop yes below and I'll make sure we connect. Like, you could do that, but I'm telling you, like, every call to action in your posting should be a little different. It shouldn't just be like, Oh, if you want more info, comment more info. Like I've used that before, but I don't use it all the time. And I don't use call to actions in every single post because like I told you with my hair post yesterday and my skin post, like they're automatically going to see that they're reading very persuasive copy. And then they're like, okay, I saw her four week transformation 
um, with her hair that I posted in November because I said, hey, I know I posted in November. I want to give a four week update, right? To last month, or I'm sorry, in December. So I'm doing like an every four week update of what's going on with my hair and my skin and yada, yada. So I just did that and I didn't even have a call to action because I knew it would stir up enough curiosity to have people to reach out to me and it did. Okay, so you have to you have to balance and you have to understand which one's gonna which one is going to um, stir up enough curiosity that they're gonna genuinely just reach out to you. I hope that makes sense, Kim. Okay, cool. Um, Denise laugh laugh out loud. LOL. Denise, I don't know what you're LOLing to, but um, I love laughing, so <laughs> I hope that's a good thing. Um, Dex, I think your hair looks fine. Yes, my hair looks fine because I've been taking collagen, so thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it there. I have to go. I have to catch this flight. I hope you found value. Um, please share with your... D- Denise is laughing again. Denise, what are you laughing <laughs> <laughs> Trisha, I can't wait to hug you. Oh, Denise is laughing about the bot. Oh my God. And there's probably some people on here that don't know what a bot is. And so I'm not even going to get into what the heck a bot is. But um, Denise, I'm laughing too because she meant to say not, not bot. Oh my God. All right, you guys, thank you for connecting. If you're on my email list, you want to be on my email list, I have something in your inbox for you today. So make sure you check out the email. It's something I'm really, really excited about. It's something that I haven't really vocalized. I've been pulling back a little bit, but I'm really, really excited to get it out there because I realize that um, I'm being blessed with it. Other be- others are being blessed with it. And now I want to bless you with it. If it's something you're looking for, it's not going to be for everybody. Trust me. So make sure you check your inbox. If you want to be on my email list, drop the word brand in the comments and I'll make sure that I get you my little gift, my, um, branding workbook and that way you can opt in be on my email list and stay connected with all the trainings i have up and coming um and i'm hosting a very special guest coming up not next week the week after for an interview on this fan page so you guys stay connected i have so many amazing things happening so make sure you guys keep checking out your emails and i make sure, i'll look forward to seeing all of you on the next training i'll try and come live later this week um, with another training, but as I said, I'm going to be traveling, but I always want to pop in and say hello and give you guys the good. So, Hey Lucas, Germany in the house. You guys, I love it. This is why I love a fan page. Oh my gosh. Because people all over the world are here. It's so flipping cool. Um, if you don't have a fan page, write fan page in the comment section. I know I'm giving you guys a lot, but if you want my fan page checklist, also I have that as well. All right. I'm going to cut it there, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. I look forward to seeing you all real soon. Bye for now.